Look at how gorgeous this is. Hello, sweet friends. It's Angie, and welcome back to the Bumblebee Farmhouse, a place where I always say that I hope that you can find a little bit of inspiration to make your house a home sweet home. Today's video is a fun video as I'm doing a home decor haul of lots of beautiful and wonderful things that I have picked up at local antique shops. Also, I am showing you guys this wonderful and beautiful ice maker that was sent to me by Gavi. Um, so Gavi, I want to thank you so much for sending this out to me. I really am loving this. But you guys, stay tuned. Check out all of these wonderful things that I am hauling for the Bumblebee Farmhouse. Things that I think are going to make our house so warm, cozy, and functional for the coming year of 2024. Hey friends, welcome back to the Bumblebee Farmhouse. My name is Angie and if you guys are new here then welcome and if you guys are returning then welcome back. I'm so glad that you guys are here at the Bumblebee Farmhouse where I say that you are always welcome. Today's video is a thrifted and antique haul. So I picked up some really cute things um, and really pretty things at a couple of the antique shops here up in the Northern Illinois area and I have not hauled these but I want to show you guys what I got. I got some really beautiful items. There is two Christmas things here. One of them I got last year, but I never hauled it. I might have showed it in a live, but I really wanted to show it in a haul because it is really unique and special, as are all of these items. Um, they all just have something so incredibly special about them. So if you guys want to hang out, to grab something to drink, um, grab a blanket, let's hang out. I want to show you some of these really special and unique pieces that I found here for the Bumblebee Farmhouse. I'm also hauling a nugget ice maker that was sent to me by Gavi for our kitchen so I can't wait to show that piece to you guys it is amazing um, it makes the perfect nugget ice for the perfect cocktails drinks even the dogs love snacking on the ice because the ice is actually in a way it's almost like chewable it's like kind of tender so I can't wait to show you guys and haul that piece from Gavi almost all of the pieces in my home have a story or just I know where I got them and how much joy that they brought me when I picked them out and I think that these are going to be the exact same thing. So let's go ahead and get into it. Let's start with the first two Christmas pieces because we are in the Christmas season. One was picked up at a little antique shop um, and consignment store in Woodstock, Illinois and the other one was picked up in South Beloit, Illinois. Let me show you how adorable these are. All right, first up, is this not the cutest. Um, this doesn't really have a brand on it, but it does have a number. I paid 14 for this. Um, it is so cute. Is this like a plant holder? Like, I don't know. I would put some, maybe some faux greenery or nothing, or is it a candy dish? I don't know, but look how vintage this looks. I think it is so cute. It's a, just the cutest little puppy with some holly on his neck, a bow, a Santa hat very very vintage looking this is totally my style my vibe i think it's just so adorable i don't know anything about this piece it doesn't matter it's just like the cutest it is the cutest christmas pup ever and he's just the, the most adorable i picked this piece up in woodstock illinois um i went antiquing christmas i'm sorry thanksgiving weekend with one of my best friends and i found this he was just and the storefront window, this really cute little vintage storefront window, and I was like, oh, that is just the cutest thing ever. Look at how just adorable. It kind of looks like my Archie, because my Archie's got more of a black muzzle, but the coloring of the fur and the face, it kind of does look like my little Archie potato. This is just so, so cute, so special. I've never seen anything like this. Do you guys know anything about this piece? Do you guys have this piece? Have you seen this piece before? Let me know. This is the first time I've seen anything like this. And again, I think it's just the cutest thing ever. I love it. It's just so, so darling. Here's the back. All right, next up, I did pick this piece up in South Beloit last Christmas season, but I don't think I've ever hauled this, and this piece is really special. I've never seen a piece like this before, and so when I saw it, I was like, this is definitely going into my collection. This looks like it might have been part of a display at some point. 
but it's Santa Claus playing the cello and it just, I just don't think it gets any cuter than that. He's got a jolly red nose, his glasses, and he is playing the cello. This was picked up in South Beloit, Illinois at, uh, I think it's called Beloit's Best Vintage. It's across the street from Angela's Attic. Um, antique mall but it is just so darling so cute do you guys know anything about this piece I don't I think it's just the cutest thing and this is why I think it's part of a display because it's like on this plastic piece right here and here's the bottom so I'm wondering if it clipped and there was like a lot more pieces but I'm not even really sure I just think it is like the cutest thing ever so I had to add this to my vintage collection like I said, I've never ever seen anything like this before and I just think it is the cutest. Now the rest of my pieces I did get for all season long. I do use some of them though in my Christmas decor and I love taking everyday items and you know, combining it with like greenery or Christmas decorations, however you wanna do it. And you can make the most out of your everyday decor as well. So I picked up two soup tureens. Now these were picked up at Vintage Bliss. I went the weekend for um, their Christmas open house, which was the last weekend in October. And surprisingly, I didn't get Christmas stuff because they were so expensive. And so I picked up some everyday items that I just fell in love with. So I'm really glad that I found these. Now I love soup tureens. I do collect some. So here's the first one that I picked up. This was $12.99 at Vintage Bliss. Very pretty. I love like the scalloping on the top open it up and then this one came with the soup ladle even though I don't use them to serve soup in I just think they're really pretty for display purposes and I've actually used them in my Christmas decorating I put greenery like um, faux Christmas trees in here so I think these are really pretty when I group them together I just think that they're beautiful so this one was $12.99 I really do like this one a lot all right, the next one I got was also from Vintage Bliss. I was able to find this piece and it is just beautiful. And here is this piece. This one's more on a pedestal. The other one was too, but this one's on more of a higher pedestal. And it does have a little bit more detailing. This looks like faux grapes. It looks very French. Um, the top, it looks like it has a faux piece of, I don't know, fruit on top. This to me looks very French. I think it is beautiful. This one was, is there a sticker? I think this one was 20. I think this one was around 20, which I still don't think is a bad deal. Like I do collect these. I think they are unique. So I love the handles on the sides. You guys, if you ever see something that looks like this without the ladle and just one handle on the side, know that that is not a soup tureen or a vegetable dish. And that is a chamber pot, which was used for the washroom back in the day. <laughs> so be very careful. I mean, unless you like collecting chamber pots, but um, you are buying somebody's toilet at that point <laughs> without even knowing it. So yes, this is a soup tureen. Again, I think it's really pretty. Um, here's the lid. And then, ooh, careful. It does come with the ladle. Not that I'm serving soups out of here anytime soon. So there is that really beautiful, amazing piece. Okay, next up is a collector's piece. And I don't know if you guys know anything about this. I know a little bit about it because my mother, my aunt, my grandma, and one of my cousins collects these. I do not, it is not my vibe, but it was so beautiful that I think, now I can do two things. I can either flip it and try to sell it on Etsy or on eBay because I found it at such a great deal, or I can gift it to my mom who does collect. So let me show you guys what it is. This is Yadro. Yadro is very expensive. It is a very expensive collectible. I think it is from a span, I think Yadro is a Spanish uh, artist, um, creator. And as you can see here, it does say Yadro on the bottom. You guys, I found this for $25 at, um, I think it's called Simone, Saint, 
Mont Michel, Saint Mont Michel. It's in Ridgefield, the shops of Ridgefield, which is by Woodstock and between like Woodstock and Crystal Lake, Illinois, that area. This was $25. Now I did look this up online and this goes, this sells for anywhere between $150 and I think $270. I've seen it. So I am tempted to flip it, but I also know that my mom does collect these. Um, so I am thinking about holding it on and holding on to it and possibly gifting it to her. I do like when I find like Capo de Monte, um, Santini's, things like that, I like antique malls and they're a good price. I do pick them up and I hold on to them as gifts for my mom because she collects a lot of Italian and Spanish um, art. So these figurines are quite pricey. This is actually really beautiful. It's a beautiful woman and she looks like she has a cat or she's ready to pet a cat. I don't know. Um, these are very pricey pieces. So it is beautiful. I love the coloring on these, but it's not something that I would display in my home. So. I have a feeling it, it will go to my mom, most likely. Like I said, I can't decide if I want to flip it or gift it, but this this would be a really lovely gift to give somebody who does collect because they are so very expensive. Um, you're talking anywhere from hundreds to thousands of dollars what they sell for. I've seen them in plenty of antique malls and I've, I don't know, like Marshall Fields used to carry them and I don't know if Macy's does, but they are very expensive. But Nonetheless, this is a beautiful piece. Look at the detail on her dress. So that will probably be part of a gift guide. I will be throwing together a holiday gift guide as well this month. All right, next piece was picked up at an antique mall up in Door County. And if you guys have been following along for a bit, I do want to start adding some beautiful copper pieces in our kitchen and probably throughout our home. So I do have some brass candlesticks. I do have a couple pops of copper in our kitchen, but not much. So let me show you this piece. It does need to be cleaned up, but it is a copper tea kettle. Now I'm not going to make tea with this. This will be solely for just the purpose of decorating with. Um, I am entering like an era of I do want to add metallics into my home. So I do love this piece. It is copper. I did buy some copper polish cleaner and also some silver cleaner, tarnish cleaner for the house too because I do have a couple silver pieces of decor. So I did get this pot. It is really pretty. It's got a wooden handle. I believe this I paid, um, I want to say 12 or 15 for this. So I just want to add some copper and metallic accents into our home um, just for decor. There are some beautiful pots and pans that are copper that run up to like $2,000. If I were ever to buy that, which I don't see myself spending that kind of money, but I would be so afraid to cook with them because I wouldn't want to ruin them. But anyway, they're just so beautiful to look at. So this does need to be polished and cleaned up, um, which I will get to probably this week. I did get my injections on my wrist, so um, I don't want to do anything too vigorous. I am still resting up, but let's pray that this, that this helps you guys. The bumblebee has been suffering for quite some time, so yeah but that's that's a whole other story this is my most favorite piece now when i got this this was black it was covered in like soot and dirt they were calling it patina but let's be real i was like this needs to be clean this isn't even patina so um i picked this up i did put a lot i probably put three to four hours into cleaning this maybe five i don't know but you guys it's a copper it looks like a baker so let me show you this is beautiful now this isn't the finish that i bought it in picture this in black green with a couple pops of copper look at how gorgeous this is i want this for my kitchen I can see myself using this as a fruit bowl on the countertop. I will probably line the inside. You guys, the this whole thing looked black. I'm not joking. Like the whole thing. It was in such horrible shape. Now, I wouldn't use this to bake with, especially like it's obviously this is not brand new. I would not use this to bake with, but it does look like it was a baker. It does have these um, 
these brass handles on the sides. I love the detail of them. I think it is just so beautiful. And then same thing with this side. Now this piece was $28 and I picked this up at a little shop in Woodstock, Illinois, a little antique shop. It is so pretty. Now it does still have patina to it. It does still have some of that green. You guys, we took vinegar. No, we took lemon juice and salt and we scrubbed with our hands. Then we took lemon juice and salt and we scrubbed with the electric drill. Um, and then we put like a brush at head attachment onto it. And then we used a scrub daddy with vinegar and salt. And then finally I did use, um, something else oh i bought copper copper polish and cleaner so this is the best i can do and you guys this looks so much better than what i bought it at i'm not joking this whole thing was black it was black so look at how pretty this is i think this is going to make a wonderful addition to our kitchen um, as a fruit bowl for the winter I'm, i was also thinking about dressing it up for christmas and just putting greenery in here like picks with faux that have faux snow and like pine cones in here i think that would be really pretty too i don't want to submerge it in any water or anything because this piece has already been through so much as you can see the inside it still does, does have some of that what they call it patina like that green i have tried everything to get this to looking as best as i can and i think it looks pretty good for what it was so it, it is to me a very gorgeous piece I would not cook with it. It looks like a baker, but um, I am going to use this in the kitchen. I think this is perfect for our kitchen, for our like country and farmhouse kitchen. Um, but I just love like the handles, the brass, the brass handles. They just look so lovely. The whole thing does, but I'm not joking. This pot was black soot. I mean, I washed this thing in our sink probably 30 or 40 times and the water was coming out black with all of the treatments that I did on it. So this looks pretty good for how I got it. I got this with my friend in Woodstock and when I showed her a picture of what it looks now, she's like, wow, that doesn't even look like the pot that you got it at you know how it looked like when you got it so it is to me a very special piece i think it is very beautiful and i cannot wait to use this in our kitchen for more copper accents especially in the winter like i want the winter vibe of the kitchen to have lots of copper lots of like fruit um but very i guess maybe kind of neutral in a way with greenery I think that's the vibe I want for my kitchen, but I just think this is a beautiful piece. You can use this anywhere in your house. You could put hand towels in here for the bathroom. Um, you could put a lot of different things. So I think this is a, a wonderful addition to add to our home. Now let's go ahead and get into the kitchen where I can show you the Gabby Ice Nugget Maker that was sent to me by Gabby. I'm so excited to show this to you guys. Um, we love using this to make the perfect drinks. I actually really do enjoy this. So I want to thank Gabby for sending this piece to us. So here is the Gevi Ice Maker in its packaging. They packaged, packaged it up really, really nice. Um, it does give you a simple overview of what the ice maker does. And it really is a very simple and easy appliance to use. It is not complicated at all, which makes it even better because I hate it when we have an appliance and we cannot figure out how to use it or there's just way too many complicated buttons. So the ice maker is quite easy to use and I love the simplicity of it, not just in its use, but in its um, an appearance. It's got a very sleek appearance. Gevi packed this really nicely. I mean, they really took the time to make sure that it came in one nice piece without any dents or scratches. They really did a great job packing this and shipping this.
And now really is the perfect time to own one of these appliances as Christmas is right around the corner. So not is it only perfect for Christmas parties or think New Year's Eve parties or New Year's Day parties to have a cocktail station where people can help themselves with ice, but it would make a really great gift for somebody who doesn't have an ice maker in their home that would like one. This definitely beats filling up little ice cube trays. Um, so it is a really nice idea as a gift as well. I'm unpacking the Gevi ice maker and it comes with this hose here so if you do want to connect it to a water hookup you can most definitely use the hoses in here to do that. It also comes with a little ice scoop so you can scoop out your ice when it's ready. Um, in this clear container here, this is where all of the ice will get dispensed into. I already washed this with soap and water and I dried it. So just know to go ahead and wash everything thoroughly before you start making your ice. So it is a very easy to operate machine. It's self-explanatory touch panel on the top with two buttons of on and off and a cleaning button. There's also four indicators that display the working state of the ice machine on top. You can do a manual water refill. You just pour water onto the lid without taking out the ice basket. Um, you just open and pour and it's got an anti-drip design. But you can also do an automatic refill. So if this is something that you want to leave on your countertop all the time, it comes with the hose included and it is very easy installation. So if you want to hook this up to a water line, you most certainly can do it. It also does have 360 degree surround insulation. It's got 85% ice retention rate at 80 degree Fahrenheit ambient temperature for 12 hours. It's got one inch thick material insulation surrounding the machine and a double layer space insulation. It's enhanced insulation can keep up to 80% of your ice cold for 12 hours. Transfer your ice to the freezer for longer term storage. I love that the ice is easy to access. It's got an ice basket that can sit on the lid for scooping it. Instead of dripping onto your countertop, the melted water flows back into the tank. So you should make any mess using this machine. What I really like about this Gevi ice maker is that it looks so sleek and stylish. This does match my kitchen perfectly. It is a lovely shade of white and I love the champagne kind of gold colored hardware on here as well. I think it just looks really, really nice and sleek. So here we're just chilling a few of our drinks. So we have some San Pellegrino um, and just some other sparkling water. Um, you can also use this, which I really love for iced coffee. So if you like iced coffee like we do, I think this is perfect for that. It just, I love the little pieces of ice. I feel like it chills up your drink really quickly. So I think cocktails, just regular drinks, iced coffees. Um, even the puppies really like snacking on them. Just having the little bits of ice, they're almost um, like a chewable ice. So um, the dogs really do enjoy them. Gevi can produce ice in 20 minutes or less, and it can also produce a maximum of 28 pounds of ice daily. And it's got the elegant design that fits most countertops. The Gevi Ice Maker creates nugget ice. It's the most popular ice type. It's got soft texture, light and airy, and it does not melt fast, but it does chill the drinks quickly. The most magical part is to have some ice left over once you finish your drink for snacking. Unpacking this, you'll also get a user manual that literally breaks down everything step by step on how to use your Gevi ice maker so you can get the most and best use out of it from making more ice to self-clean. The machine does self-clean, which is amazing, but it will come with a really great user manual that tells you how to use it properly. And when you're all done with your machine, you can go ahead and take the tubes and go ahead and drain out all of the water if you want to store it and pack it away. 
The ease of emptying this out is wonderful. You just take the machine to the sink or near the sink and pull down the tabs in the back and the water will come out flowing, flowing freely. So I will go ahead and link down below in the description box where you guys can purchase the Gevi Ice Maker. I think it would make a wonderful addition to your home or for a holiday gift. So definitely check it out down below. So guys, I want to thank you so much for hanging out with me here today at the Bumblebee Farmhouse. I hope you guys enjoyed this home decor haul. Um, all of these things will be used in our home and I, you know, I every piece is so very special. Whether it's functional or decor, whether it's me using the copper pot um, or the, the copper teapot, or the copper bowl for fruit or the nugget ice maker for having friends and family over or just me and Danny making some lovely drinks or cocktails for the weekend or you know New Year's is coming up so I really enjoyed using that it's a really great um, machine but I want to thank you guys so much for hanging out with me here today at the Bumblebee Farmhouse I hope you got a little bit of inspiration to make your house a home sweet home and remember friends as dorothy gill once said there's no place like home that's right friends home sweet home